You people frighten me. You really do. After a couple of days, you get a plate together. You don't know if he's a serial killer. You don't know if she's crazy. You guys don't have any supervision. You're just out there and you frighten me. The day Damien met LeBeau, he thought he was the world's luckiest man. The next day, they moved in together, and two weeks later, they gambled on love and said, I do. Now, more than a year later, living in the gambling capital of the world, both declare they are unlucky in love, and Damien is ready to cash out on this marriage. First lie was, is she told me her name was Veronica, and her, her name ended up being LeBeau. Uh, she says that, that she was uh, 26 at the time, or she ended up being 21. Uh, she ended up saying that she worked as a medical assistant and come to find out she worked in a restaurant. Will LeBeau and Damien still be Mr. and Mrs. by their second anniversary? Or will LeBeau drop a bomb on Damien that could end it all? Yeah, I got something for you. Oh. What's this? Today, on Divorce Court. Come to order. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with LeBove Anderson and Damian Edwards. The two of you have been married for just over a year. You do not have children together. You also don't want to be married anymore. You have a financial situation that you would like me to resolve, and I will get to that momentarily. But before we do, I would like to start with you, Mr. Edwards. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and why we're in divorce court today? Well, Judge, we're in divorce court today is because uh, my wife here, I think we married a little too soon. And uh, she's been lying to me from the get-go. Um, hey, no, 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 no. Hang on, hang on. When you say married too soon, how long did you know each other before you got married? We, we got married uh, after two weeks of knowing each other. Well, maybe you shouldn't impress hang on, hang so on. Ms. Ms. Anderson, Ms. Anderson, I'm going to tell you right now, we're not going to get along. You keep popping off like that. I'm going to get to you. You're going to have a full opportunity to respond, but you keep jumping See, in like the, that. It's just not going to work out at all. This is the problem now, I'm having. Well, Mr. Edwards, let's, hang on. In addition to that, I think I also should raise the fact that, Mr. Edwards, you are 40, and Ms. Ms. Anderson, you're 21. So we have a significant age hey, difference hey. there. I just wanted to lay that out there in the beginning. But, Mr. Edwards, why don't you tell me what happened in those first 14 days that made you say, I have got to have this woman? Well, Your Honor, let me get to the, to the, to the nitty-gritty of the story here. Um... I met Miss Laveau, which at the time she says her name was uh, Veronica. Uh huh. Uh, which was what? Ms. Which was Ms. Lie, Anderson? What did we just talk one. about? What did we just talk about? Ms. Anderson, look at me, look at me. What did we just talk about? I'll get my chance to speak. And don't speak up until you're spoken to. Okay. All right. You got that part? Yes. You're certain? Yes. Don't make me come back there. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Anderson, Mr. Edwards, go ahead. The first lie was is. She told me her name was Veronica, or her, her name ended up being LeBeau. Uh, she says that, that she was uh, 26 at the time. Her, she ended up being what? 21. Uh, she ended up saying what? that she worked as a medical assistant and come to find out she worked in a restaurant. First, I want to put in out there, my name that I told you wasn't Veronica. You even messed it up right there. Well, what no, did you tell me? Hang that's on. What, what. I told you it was Victoria. You can't even keep up with okay, your own Ms. story. Okay, Ms. Anderson, Ms. Anderson, Ms. Anderson. Come on, you man. I'm told you Hey, 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 hey. 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 Ms. Anderson? Ms. Anderson. Woo! You told him a name that wasn't yours. Can we agree upon that? Yes. Okay. But, then what happened? Okay, what happened is when we met, there's a reason why I didn't tell him my real name. We used to live in Utah, okay? Mm -hmm. And for a reason that is I was going through some things. Okay. So, and there's not, not to be disrespectful or anything, but there's not a lot of African-American people in Utah. Right. So, and majority of them, they all know each other. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the situation that I had going, no, no, that, <laughs> but that's the truth. But majority Utah's of- Utah is a big state. And I got to tell you, we don't hold an annual convention. Yeah, and so when I, the person that I was, <laughs> but the person that I was going through a situation, you know, I, did, I wasn't sure if he knew him or not. You were afraid that this black guy might know the black guy that you had a problem with, so you exactly. told him the wrong Ex name. Exactly. I got so you. And I told him, I even came up to him, and I said, up for, later on, I told him, I said, well, this was the reason, and I explained it to him. I got this it, I got it. But why, why would you, you put... Now, hang on, let me ask you. No, hang on, Mr. Edwards, Mr. Edwards, you're not... Mr. Edwards, am I have trouble with you, too? 
<laughs> no, Your Honor. My question to you is this. Why did you get a place with this guy after only a couple of days? Um, because I was dumb. That's all I can say. Did you think you were in love with him? Were you well, in a, in a mean... circumstance? Hang on, I'm still talking. Go ahead. Did you believe that you were in a circumstance where you had no other options? What was going on? Well, I did, you know, he catched my eye too. Everything was going great together. But that marriage whole thing is, you, he the one that pressed it on on me. He the mm -hmm. one that's like, come on, let's go get married. We're going to the courthouse to get married. Come on, the next Monday we're going to the courthouse to get married. And I'm like, damn, man, hold up. It was a mutual up. thing. It was a mutual no, thing. No, it was it not the like, mutual thing. Well, well, Ms. Anderson, you so. had to say yes. So, no, I mean, then, at some I point did. you had to say yes. I did. I did say yes because I'm like, I was to the point I was like, whatever, man, come on. That's like almost like, it felt like you this. You people <laughs> frighten me. You really do. <laughs> I, I got to say this. <laughs> You see each other on the street. Then, after a couple of days, you get a place together. You don't know if he's a serial killer. You don't know if she's crazy. But you did it anyway. <laughs> Two weeks later, you get married, and you were afraid that all the black people in Utah knew each other, so you lied to him about a name? <laughs> you guys don't have any supervision. You're just out there, and you frighten me. <laughs> When divorce court continues, is Damien too controlling? I'm not allowed to get a job. Since then, it's been up to Damien. What I'm allowed to do, what I'm not allowed to do. Divorce isn't easy. If you want to share your story, call toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com or become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Divorce Court is back with the case of Damian Edwards, who admits to marrying his wife too soon after they met and now wants a divorce. But is there a reason why they got married so soon? Did you marry him for his money? Mr. Edwards, you got married after two weeks. What happened then? She likes to spend a lot of money, Your Honor. Um, on yeah, a weekly, which I don't get on from weekly, you. On Ms. Weekly, Anderson? On a weekly basis, I spend... Thank you. Mr. Edwards, Mrs. Anderson. Woo-hoo! You know, on a weekly basis, I spend about, you know, anywhere from $500 to $1,000 no, I spend on don't. this woman. Just like she tells me all the time. She says, uh, when you got with me, you knew that I was of a higher taste. So, you know, she wants her red bottom shoes, which I say, yo, I can't afford no red bottom shoes. Were you struggling to make that amount of money to give her? Was she too high maintenance? Uh, no, I wasn't struggling, you know, because I, I drive as a truck driver. So, you know, truck drivers make a pretty good, good amount, of, yeah. amount of money. But, you know, if, if, you know, we got two people together, living together, you can get twice as, accumulate twice as much right. stuff instead of just one person working and providing Did for both Did you feel the people. that you wanted her to work as well? Yeah, I, I told her, to, you see, I wanted her to work. And I told her that, you know, she needs to, you know, find something to do to occupy her mind besides, you know. Spending your money. Spending the money and saying she's going places that she's, you know, not going. You Mrs. Know? Anderson, what is your response to that? Um, the money situation. Your Honor, I'm not allowed to get a job. Since then, it's been up to Damien. What I'm allowed to do, what I'm not allowed to do. When it comes to money, who has it? Dayman has it. When it comes to giving me ten dollars to put for anything to go get some makeup, oh, well, I don't have that type of money. Excuse mm -hmm. me. You just went and spent sixty dollars on a stupid video game that just came out. So you have me at home all day, every day, because somebody wants it to be like that. Do you do you feel like when he married you, he felt like he kind of owned you and he was controlling you? He had the money, you didn't have a job, so you felt stuck? At the beginning, it wasn't like that at all. Uh -huh. How long seem did it like take that. to get like that? It seemed like since we moved to Vegas, which we moved in February mm -hmm. or January at the end of around there, that's when it all like just boom, fell down. You know what I mean? Do you agree with that? I agree with that in some sense because Vegas is, a, you know, is known for its unsavory type of people that live in Vegas. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? What restrictions did you place on her or what avenues did you use to keep her from becoming preyed upon? I told her to take the dog with her if she wants to go out, you know, walk around out there so the dog will, you know, keep protect somebody. Her. Yeah, protect her. 
So, no, you yeah, don't. I can't say that, no, you know. No, you don't. You don't so, let me walk the dog down the street. Miss, miss, Mr. Edwards. Well, yeah, but it depends on if, yeah. you're going, if you're going down the street. I'm some, walking the some, dog down the street to go to the short, bathroom. And some hey, shorts hey, to the hey, right hey, 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 hey. Did you marry him for his money? No. I wish I could go work for my own money. Why did you marry him after two weeks? I, I, I guess I'm stuck on that. First of all, it wasn't even like two weeks. How long was it? I, it was longer than two weeks before we got married, really. Let's go all That's out and like, say it was 30 days. Wait, it doesn't matter how long it's been. But the thing is, we had a mutual feeling at the beginning. Not all marriages stay forever, okay? But when we did it, we did have that feeling. Mutual feeling, you know, we're like, okay, well... It's called lust. That's what that is. That's all it is. You, you know, that's what that feeling is. When Divorce Court continues, does age really matter? Do you think that the age difference has caused some friction in your marriage? Do you think LeBeau married Damien for his money? Call 1-800-282-1991 to vote now and see if America agrees with your opinion. You'll also receive some valuable offers. Call 1-800-282-1991 now. If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and follow us on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court returns with the case of Lubo Anderson, who says she wants to divorce her husband of one year because he is too controlling. But is Lubo too feisty for her own good? You can't communicate with somebody that's yelling and screaming. Do you think that the age difference has caused some friction in your marriage? Uh, at the beginning, I didn't think it did cause a, it didn't cause a problem at the beginning. But then, you know, now I do think that it does because, you know, She's of a younger age, I'm of an older age, you know what I mean? So she wants to do a lot more partying and hey. hanging out and, and things do like that. Do you see anything wrong with a 21-year-old wanting to party and hang out? No, I don't, because when, when I was her age, you know, I was partying it up. Are you, you afraid know? that she'll do what you did when you were 21? Yeah, in a way, in a way. Do you think it's fair to restrict her from doing that simply because you don't want her out there doing that? I mean, she has a right to be 21 because she happens to be 21. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem with that, you know? Yeah, you do. Uh, yeah, in a yeah, way. You do. Yeah, in a, in a way, I do. Yeah, but I, I, I don't in a way, but I do in a way. Well, Ms. Ms. Anderson, what do you think? The, think? How do you think the age impacts the stability of your marriage. I don't even think it's like the even age part. It's the communication. If you really want to work with the per or be with the person, you need to communicate. You can't communicate with somebody that's yelling and screaming. Hooping, does she hoop and holler? Yeah, she, oh, she hoops and holler. She throws her tension. Do you hoop tantrum, and holler? No. Do you throw tantrum? Tantrum, tantrum? No. If she doesn't get you, what you she know, wants. You know, Ms. Anderson, I'm going to tell you why I don't I believe you. I don't get upset Ms. With Anderson, because... I'm going to tell you why I don't believe you because when you came what? in here, you were all out of pocket and out of order. And it took me five, ten minutes to cool you down. So I don't believe you. I believe him on that score. Let's move on to another topic. Tell me about the car situation. Well, you know, the car situation is, is you know, at the time that we got together, I drove a BMW. I had some nice 24-inch rims on that, on that thing. And it yeah, baby looked good, you know? And it was the best thing in town. So, you know, it broke down. So, just like everything broke down. So. I got an SUV. It had some nice rims on that thing too, you know. But she didn't want to ride in it. It was it wasn't good enough for her. So this is what she did. She when we go around, she slumps down in the vehicle, you know. Are you are you <laughs> in, embarrassed to be seen in an SUV? No. Do you slump down in the seat because it's no. it's not a great car? No, Your Honor, I don't. I even take pictures in it. Okay. Right. If I was slumping down, I wouldn't be no, taking, taking no the pictures, pictures for in that me. car. I haven't got none of those pictures. You're right, because you'd be on somebody else's pictures. So you stay over there. Who else's pictures? Oh, here, I got some for you. Oh. What's... Uh-oh. It just got deep. This? 
<laughs> What's this? When divorce court continues, what shocking secret about Damien will the pictures reveal? Tell me what I'm looking at here. Tell me what I'm looking um, at. Let me explain to you. Do you think LeBeau married Damien for his money? Call 1-800-282-1991 to vote now and see if America agrees with your opinion. You'll also receive some valuable offers. Call 1-800-282-1991 now. Divorce Court returns with the case of Lavo Anderson and Damian Edwards, who married after knowing each other only two weeks and now are divorcing after one year of marriage. Tell me what I'm looking at here. Tell me what I'm looking um, at. Um, let me explain to you. Damian been on Backpage, which is escort hookers, pretty much, website, okay? Damon's receiving these messages from these different type of females. Damon's on these websites. So Damon's thinking he's playing me dumb. Like, oh, she ain't never gonna notice it. She doesn't see it. So I'm gonna play her stupid. And I'm gonna just keep getting on him. Okay, so I get on it. I see all this stuff. I'm like, sent to my email. Because I know he's gonna erase that when I bring... Could you go show you this to Mr. Stuff Edwards when I bring it up to and him. ask him if he knows anything about it? And don't lie, Mr. Edwards. Don't so, lie. So then I bring it up to him, and it's like, that wasn't me. That was somebody else looking at it. It's, it's, you recollect you? any of that? I did have a, 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 a site, a dating site when I first met her. The dating site will not let me close that profile. And so it automatically sends me an email. That says, wink, wink. Yeah, wink, Let's wink. Let's move on to the arbitration. You said that he forced you to, to pawn an iPad, a flat screen TV, and your wedding band. Yes. Is that accurate? Yes. Do you know the items about which she speaks? They were pawning her name. At the time, she wanted to visit her family. And it's not like, you know, going to visit her family is like around the corner, mm -hmm. you know? It's so you're saying that miles, so. it was a long trip. You asked her to pawn these items to fund the trip. Yeah. Do you agree that the items that the two of you pawned were for the purpose of seeing your parents? No, because we didn't even go and see them. This stuff was pawned was like, what, two, three, four months, three months, about three months ago? Mm -hmm. That he was supposed to take me to go see my family, which it never happened. Okay, I got it, I got it, got it. Ms. Anderson, Mr. Edwards. Ms. Anderson, I can't get but so mad at you because you're 21. You're just a child and you don't know any better. Uh, but just for future reference, you really have to know a person before you marry him. You have to go out with him a couple of times. You got to talk to him and you got to pay attention. You got to listen. You got to watch how they treat other people. They got to watch how they treat their family. You got to go meet their family. You got to meet their people. You got to actually talk about everything. You got to talk about children and wants and jobs and money and all that kind of stuff. And you're, if you're not able to do that, you don't know that person. If you don't know that person, you're marrying a stranger. You marry a stranger. This is what happens. 21 years old, you're not too young to get married anyway, because 21, you don't know enough. You don't know anything. You think you do, but you don't. Mr. Anderson, bad boy. You saw this cute young thing. You should have known better. You did know better. She got her brain about her, and she, she decided she wasn't going to put up with it, so she's here getting rid of you. And let me say this. Money is not to be witnessed by others. It is to be used purposefully to have security. What is with the rims? If you got a car that's breaking down in great rims, you put the money on the wrong part of the car. You put it into the engine in the maintenance, not on the little things spinning around there. I don't understand it. I, I, I don't have rims, nothing. I don't do it. I just, I do maintenance, drive it, car stops, get a new one. But, like, that takes years. Maybe so. I don't know what happened. I think you two were just out there doing whatever, and you pawned it, and I don't think it was specific. I don't think he forced you, because I don't think a whole lot of people force you to do anything. There will be no recovery in this matter. It is so ordered. All right. Parties may leave the courtroom. I don't see us staying together any longer. We are, I am done. So I will be removing myself from Damien, and I'm not staying with him any longer. Uh, I just think we should uh, go home and talk about it and 
see how it goes from, you know, there, see, you know, if we can work things out or if not, then, you know, we can split.